I'm gonna make the most. Because if I make more, I'm not paying more. We can do 50-50. But if you make more, you're paying more. Okay, so so basically I what you're saying is if a woman makes more, it's 50-50. But if yeah. a man makes more, it's not. What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. We are back. Yes. Drinks and Conversation. The podcast. Episode 21. 21. We grown out we here. We grown out street. here. New we can drink. We can yeah. finally drink. Uh, for drinks we're, we're, and legal. we're legal we now. We don't have to have it in our mama's basement or anything anymore. We're legal now. Atmos Morgan. <laughs> That's where we going. Legal. Well, I'm Intro Picks, and I'm always in the building. And you know I'm Oxytocin, and it's always going, going down. down. What up, Toast? Hey, Fresh. Not much, man. Today was a good day. Today was a good day. Ice Cube voice. Today, Today was a good was day. Today was a good day. Yes. I know that's right. We need to get some of this good sunny weather. I'm waiting for the heat. I am waiting. People keep saying it keeps raining because Prince died. I'm, I, mean, I don't know. I'm just like, stop raining already. I'm it's not it. raining because Prince died. That's what Now, if saying. the rain was purple, <laughs> then I would have to say, yeah. I'll be like, what kind of shit is this? <laughs> now, we know this weather man made it. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know what just happened, my co host, Intro Picks, just conveniently spilled half his bottle of Strong Island on the ground. I he am... had a mini spill earlier, so this now he has no drink drink left. <laughs> Listen, I'm clumsy today. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? What's going What What got you all jittery, huh? And I, ne- I never spill. I never spill a Long Island. Well, it's this twice in one night. Twice in one night. This is the second spill, and he still has the audacity to keep saying, I never, I never. Um, you did, and you did again. <laughs> and after tonight, it will still be, I never, never. I never, <laughs> I never spill. Over here, clean it up. That's what I'm talking about. Clean it up. Just clean up after yourself. More men need to do that. Clean up after themselves. And then, you know, we're not supposed to have it all in the, in the equipment and stuff. But. You know, exactly. You know, you spoil it, you buy it. So he must be rich. Um. <laughs> this is what we do on episode 21. We grown. We drink and we spill drinks for the day at home. Not we. You know? He. I don't know why he's including me and trying we. to be inclusive right now. We didn't spill anything. Well, I'm over here minding my pretty I little I spilled business. one for you and one for me. <laughs> I reject it. No, thank you. <laughs> so how was your week? Oh, how was your week? week? It's good. It's, it's going great. Good? I mean, it's winding down. Weekend's gonna be great. I'm attending a graduation celebration for someone that's really, really close to me. So that's always good. just a celebration. Always a good thing. No, that's right. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Shout outs to all the graduates, though, man. Oh yeah, 2016 yes. high school, college. I uh, love seeing. Yeah, congrats um, to you guys. That's the major accomplishment. Yeah. You should be very, very proud of yourselves. Not everyone is doing it, so congrats to you. Yeah. I love to see end of the year prom and yeah. graduations yeah. and people just excited just to be moving up on another level of success, you know, I from agree. that time period on. Now, did you go to your prom? My high school prom? Yeah. I did. I did. You did? You I did. did. How, how was that? It was cool. I really don't remember my prom only because like, you know. And now it wasn't that long ago. So it what? wasn't that long ago. But my thing was, honestly, you know, I was like a teenager. I was pregnant when I was in high school. So at that point. After I got pregnant, I really didn't care too much. It just kind of went by. I did go to my prom, but I think I would have enjoyed it more had it been like a traditional. Were you pregnant friends. at the I prom? I wasn't pregnant at okay. prom. No, I okay. dropped my load before prom. All just right. Thank okay. goodness. Right. <laughs> you know, but still, I just wasn't, you know, at the body that I wanted. It, it, I was, you know, just, it was just not. It was just not. Yeah, yeah. But, but did you have a good time? I, it was okay. I it think was I remember time. being okay. All that just like a blur to me. Oh, so I went, wow. but, eh. Well, I had a great, great time at prom, and it, and it's funny because the girl who I was supposed to go to prom with. Now, I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna go to prom, you know, we're gonna have a good time, this and that. And at the last minute, oh no, wait, another girl had asked me to go to prom. At the last minute, another girl. No, 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 not the last minute. Just okay. in, in between, 
Another girl asked me to go to prom, and I was like, nah, I already kind of got a date, little situation going okay, on. Okay, look at you know? asked you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was pressed. <laughs> and okay. then I said, look, but what happened was, is the first girl said that, mm-hmm. that she couldn't go after a while. Okay. Closer to that. So I'm like, dang, I got to find a date. So I go back to the girl that originally asked me, and I said, I could go to prom now. Damn, what'd she <laughs> say? She said, okay, let's mm-hmm. go. And we went. Mm-hmm. You know, we had a good time. Had a good time. Yeah, it was nice. I had a good yeah, prom. Yeah, that's good. Prom was nice. I had a good time. We rented a limo, did Ooh. all that. So, oh. you know, we we was bougie for the night. That's you know, good. it that's, was cool. I mean, people are really doing it big for prom now these days. I mean, I see these prom pictures. It's like they're going to freaking an award show or like a gala or something. they like really doing it you up. You know people got to do it for the gram. We didn't have the gram <laughs> when, when we was. They doing it for something because it don't look cheap. Yeah, well, you know. Prom like is always good. Always love good. prom. Always yeah. love prom. And sometimes you can, um, a lot of high school relationships start around that time. That's true, but I think it's a really good time because it's at that point in your life where you're leaving young, you're, you know, you're embarking on a new journey, you're an adult now, and you just leave child play alone. Something that Azalea Banks still has to learn. <laughs> they're fighting with a, a 14 year old. Azalea but, uh, <laughs> Banks, huh? <laughs> that girl. What's wrong with her? Seriously. What's her problem? She a little half crazy. She reminds me know. of the mother off of um, Empire, the new, the new Lucia's mom. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I'm not a, I, I don't watch Empire. Oh, you're not an Empire. My friends completely yeah. went over my head. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Right, we're going to get you up. We're going to get you up one of these I'm days. good. I'm good. I need to get up on that show that everyone is talking about. I wish I knew the name of it. I really should know the name of it. But it's with uh, Journey Smollett. She's in the, it, underground. Uh, the Underground. The Underground. So I'm going to binge watch Listen. Underground this Sunday. Get on your underground. You, you, you watch. Yes, I watch every I episode. Watch. I've been telling you about I know, underground. but I want to be a watcher. Like, I feel so bad that when watch, people talk you gotta about watch it, I can't the whole say season. me too. That's what I'm going to do. I just said on Sunday, yeah. I'm going to binge watch the whole season because yeah. I need to get caught up. I know this is the season just ended about since last week. So I'm going to binge watch everything on Sunday. Then I could be like, oh, my God, me too. The because Underground really is it. one of the best TV shows this year. I got to get I mean, when up. it talks about real history and of our you know pretty much where we came from it show it's beautifully written i gotta watch one of the best shows this i year. can't wait to binge watch that yeah, I can't it's wait. definitely and i'm mad they're not coming back to 2017 but hold on what's not coming back to the show for oh, the second okay. season they got picked up for a second season okay good congrats yeah. to them yeah. Yay. yeah yeah so the underground so yeah and, and ooh, I, mm, I wish I could tell you what happened Don't, at the end. For my no people, spoiler alert. For my people who watch Underground episode ten at the very end, y'all know who just came on the scene and is about to get real in season two. When I say it's about All to right, get you're just real, a little bit too much. No, I'm just saying <laughs> it's about to get real. You ain't you ain't seen the Underground. Railroad until this point. Yeah, I'm excited to binge watch. Yeah, and get caught up. I heard it's really great. You got to get on it. You got to get on it. You got to get on. It. But back to Zelia Banks. What, what, what's going on with her? I don't know what's going on with her. Clearly, she's not being an adult. She's sitting there fighting and going back and forth, having this back and forth banter with a 14 year old girl, body shaming her, and just tr- trying her hardest to go in on little baby sky now i love baby sky ever since she was in the kmart catalog little baby this is a band-aid brand my band-aid stick on me you know that commercial She's oh like, that was her that was her how you gonna be messing with the band-aid child oh you know they twitter has blocked her twitter jailed her you know when you talk too much trash and put a twitter jail you but she's been doing oh they put anyway. in twitter they jail twitter jail twitter jailed her i guess oh, and wow. also she had a show that she was i don't know if it was her show or she was just appearing on the show but whatever she was performing in london and they pulled her so she that that check is gone she's not getting that check i don't know if they've already paid they're gonna get a refund tell her get the money back because you have to know that reckless talking like that could result in money loss. That's what 
rappers, you gotta I mean, watch you get your saying. popularity from it, but what you know, what else do you get from it? She's outside taking of more else from her big mouth than I mean, I, I don't even know. I really they say they say she do music, and I'm like, oh okay, but I know her from just always drama. Her name drama. is always in drama, and always she really a problem, does always an issue. She really does have good music. Like she oh, really? really has she, good music. And I would but, never know it because you know. she needs to check her attitude. And just like little baby Sky said, um, she needs to simmer down. She needs to simmer down a bit. Yeah. Get Twitter wars and Twitter beats. This is what Tell we. Tell you when Twitter start getting your checks cut, it's a problem. Yeah. Any <laughs> check cut is, is a problem. Absolutely. I don't give a damn. Yeah, but she don't care. I wonder how she's gonna recover from this. She says whatever she wants, and she really does not care. And you can't live your life like that. You gotta have a filter. My biggest thing, I can't stand people who are like, I keep it 100. I keep it 100. I don't care. I'll say anything. Like, no, you have to have a filter. You literally cannot think it's all right to just walk out here and just say anything out your mouth. That's not okay. It's definitely not okay. Yeah, and it's not cool. Yeah, and and on top of that, you got to be able to take the consequences for whatever you say. Exactly. Like, sometimes keeping it 100 sometimes means not saying anything at all like you don't always have to say whatever's on your mind that's a, and that's one thing a lot of people need to learn is that you don't always got to say what's on your mind like keep learn when to say when and when not to say don't say you know you'll be getting them checks had you have kept your mouth <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Thing, talking about keeping your mouth closed, right? I was reading this article, and it was basically about coming to her in a relationship. And I want to ask you about that because you are in a relationship. Do you talk a lot about your relationship or, let's say, brag about your relationship, like how good or great things are going? Because in the article, it says that people who do that, they're, in, they're insecure about their relationship or maybe insecure about themselves as their partner. Do you think that's true? I don't think that if you brag about your relationship that you're insecure. Okay. Now I think when you reach and you like over exaggerate things, you're just living in some kind of world. You just want people to know just so they can know. But truly when you're happy in the relationship, people are gonna see it. You know, regardless. You don't have to say nothing about nothing and just focus on your relationship. I think more people do that when they're younger, when they, you know, you know, first, you know, really find somebody that they really click with and really love. And, you know, in the beginning stages, dating is always exciting. So you're going to talk about it. But, you know, after a while, you know, you just focus on you and your relationship and you don't have to tell anybody you know, I guess I you don't have to. You don't really have to say much too because you know with you social media, you're like snapping breakfast. Oh, you made me yeah. breakfast a bun. You show you know, a little shoulder, you show you know? a little armpit no, like, here and there. No, but seriously, I don't know if it, I feel like I'm not going to use the word insecure, but I feel like sometimes maybe they have something to prove or maybe they're trying to cover up. Like if somebody's just overly doing the most, I just feel like maybe things are not as good as they're trying to make it seem. Or it, it, vice versa, they're trying to make it, sometimes people like to play, oh, my relationship's so horrible, I don't know, and everything's fine. Yeah. So, you know, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Like, you yeah. just craving for attention. Your relationship is getting wrong. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. You know what I mean? So, I think it goes both ways. If you're just saying, oh, my relationship is horrible, like, too much, maybe it's like, just, you just need a, a craving attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. wanting people to listen and want to know about them and stuff. I mean, you know, people, you know, like I said, if you're having a good time, you enjoying someone, it comes off organic. But when you're sitting there telling someone that this is this and this is that and oh my gosh. I've never you know, been more yeah, happier in my life. In my whole entire life. I live for, and, I you live know, for my spouse. Yeah, yeah, whole time, you yeah. miserable as hell. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because I know people like that with people show people um, this perfect relationship especially on social media yeah and then you really know them in real life and you know that 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 shit is either some shit or it's it's just not you know literally i had this one friend and she was like she posts photos i'm like oh my god i'm so happy for you i'm happy that you found happiness and the moment she was like girl uh-uh it is not all that it seems to be i'm like hold up <laughs> how you just gonna <laughs> shut it down like that you know what i mean because people put up a front. I people guess. Put up yeah, a the, the That's why it's important to just keep your relationship to yourself. Pretty much. Pretty much. And, and 
it'll work but itself out. But I do out. understand also if you're like really excited and if, if it is great, like maybe you just want to know people like don't see how happy you are. So I think there's a there's a line. Don't be obnoxious, but you can be you know honest and say like, man, if your guy's great, why not tell people that he's great? But don't I don't know. There's a line there. Not the, don't, yeah. don't be obnoxious. Don't go overboard. Now when a relationship is over. <laughs> <laughs> Should you still be telling everybody? I mean, if a relationship is over, I mean, do no, you gotta I think be? You owe me to tell me. You know why? Because when I be looking at people's feet, it throws me for a loop. Literally, I know, like you're married, and oh my god, it's great, and it's like, oh my boo, my man crush Monday. This is like some new random person. It's not even who you're married to. Like, just give me a disclaimer. Like, if you gonna post. The, the so you saying that people goodness, should tell people that that you're not together anymore? Well, or even that, da- even downplay the whole you know, relationship. I mean, I'm or even anyway, just, once on like two years ago you were married, and then, and then two years later you have a boyfriend and he's your boo, and y'all like it's just like oh my god, but what's the marriage to this person? And it also throws me off if I know the people. It's like uh, oh oh. Sometimes so you can't keep X, up. With, y, with, sometimes you can't keep up with thoughts. Okay. I know. <laughs> I know, right? so what did you no, want? What did what you, you over say? there? I not want to agree with that. What no. thoughts? <laughs> I take that laugh back. I mean, hold on. It just registered in my mind. Like, what did he just say? Oh, my God. You're crazy. You're crazy. I mean, because they not there. What did he just not say? there. Not like, everywhere. You guys be you. Men be thought, too. So. Yeah. Men are thought. Yes, they yeah. are. Mm-hmm. Long as we agree. They thought hot. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. The number one thought is safari. <laughs> He's like, no. He He's thought. heartbroken. I think yeah. he, like, really wants well, Nikki back. Well, he's trying to get his bread. He really wants Nikki back, and he just realized it's not going to happen. I really think Nikki is done. You know, it's always when it's that breakup. It's one person who wants the other back, and the other person who's like, oh, I have moved on. I am done. Yeah. So I think Nikki is the, I'm moved on. I'm done with you. And he's like, just, he wants her back. He wants that old thing back, you know? But then again, you're talking about lots and lots of money. If we built up this, if, if listen. Based on some of the videos that I've seen in the past with Nicki Minaj and Safari, yeah. their relationship was totally different from the perspective that I've seen. Like, she didn't really like him like that. Like, mm. they were together. They, you know, they worked together. They was close. She was something, to, you know, something to do here and there. But at the end of the day, she really disrespected Safari in yeah, like like he said, he started getting treated like an employee rather than a boyfriend. And nobody knew publicly that they were together. I mean, but people did know, but it wasn't, you know, she never admitted it. Yeah, I mean, they was together for a long So time. now it's the return of Safari. And he coming to get that check. And what was that um that question about men being petty? Oh, oh. Well, Teddy has a price tag. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk Teddy, about millions and millions Teddy, and millions of dollars. You, I like the way you said Petty has a price tag. Petty has a price tag. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. If you're talking about some money, I, you go petty. T- people go petty. For 50 cents. For it's the principle. <laughs> it's the principle. Stop it. You just want that 50 cents. Like, <laughs> come on. It'd be like, and I want them new dishes that we ain't get to open <laughs> before I leave. Put I want your mother's house that she left for you. I don't <laughs> want my mother's house. Seriously? Come on. So, yeah, the pettiness. Yeah, Safari wants his money. And I think he should get his money. Okay, but do you think he's going to get money? Nah, he probably not going to get it. He probably. Money. He ain't going to get what he asked me for. If he gets anything, it's not going to be what he's asking Nicki Minaj got a lot of legal shit going on. She got her, her brother um, being That's convicted. Her he, she got her boyfriend on house, house arrest, arrest and shit. She can't leave the state. <laughs> she got her ex boyfriend suing her. And her and Drake don't talk no more. And her and Drake don't talk no more. You know, Drake is that dude you can go to with your emotions. You, know, you get on your car, Thomas. Look, Drake is the homie to hit up. You I'm about to sue Nicki Minaj. <laughs> For what? I may get a little. Just cause. <laughs> you want to sue Nikki just cause? Just, just cause. Off the come up. Because she's tricking people with that fake ass. That's why. That's her business. I feel like I was she tricked. She walk around with that. That is her business. If that makes Listen, her feel good about herself, people don't sue people all for good less. for you, Nikki. You walk around with that donkey. If that makes you feel happy. Absolutely. We're going we're gonna to create a suit. Nikki campaign. No, we are Shit. not. That's her body, and she, she got has too the right much to do money. She wants to do with it. She needs to spread the wealth. 
She you buy niggas what? rollies and shit. Spread the wealth. Give me safari, the jungle, the West Africa, North Africa. But give us all some money because we need it. Yes. Yes, we do. We need that. We need that. I can't with you. So how about this? Justin Bieber, right? Now, I, I'm a little sick of Justin Bieber, but, you know, he all right, whatever. He's basically saying that, listen, I, he don't want to take no more pictures with fans, period, point blank. He's over that shit. What do you think about that? As a celebrity, I, I, does it come with the territory? I mean, I think, yeah, it comes with the territory, but I don't know. Oh, I just, I'm over Justin. I'm over Justin. I've been over Justin. I don't know. If that's what he wants, he's getting everything that he wants anyway, just give it to him. Like, he's just like... Give it to him. Shut up. He is a kid Whatever. star. He's, he 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 grew he up in the fame. How old is he now? Um, about 18, 19, 20. He ain't 18. That boy's in his... I think... I don't know. Probably don't 21. Know. He's 20-something. Yeah. Know. I don't know. Like, like, I don't know, Justin. If that's what you want, by all means, look. But just stick with the shit. So if you don't want to do meet and greets, don't be trying to do it two years from now. But just stick with your decision. That's all I'm saying. Like... He on his print want. shit. Everybody on their print shit. We we don't do photographs no more. It was cool right. back when. <laughs> I'm, I'm but now that. now we don't do photographs no more. I think that, you know what, if you're a celebrity, you get tired of it. After years and years of taking photos, you might not want to take no photos. No more. Whitney Houston didn't like to take photos either. Oh, my God. That's me. That's she said, I got into Definitely this music Whitney industry Houston for the also. music, not for the fans. But guess. you know. Hey, I can't tell. I don't know. We don't know. So, Rose, do you have anything on your bucket list that you wish that you could um that you could do? I do have a bucket list, and I've honestly been crossing things off. Um, I wish I had the courage to go up on stage at an okay. open mic. That's like on my bucket list is to face my fear. Like it's not necessarily like face my fear, my fear, but to just to do some to open just, mic. Yeah, just have all eyes on you and just to do an open mic. You know? Why don't you do it? You I should know, do it. Let's tell give, me, let's give like, you should do some, it. You let's should give do some it. But it takes yeah. a lot. Like I don't know. I'm just I haven't done it yet. It's on my goal. I want to do it before the year is out. Absolutely. We gonna uh, write you but, a slamming Shonda Rhimes article piece. Poet. I don't need no Sean and Brown article. We're going to give you something real monologue ish. And then we're going to put. <laughs> what a monologue ish. I can't with you. <laughs> and then we're going to put you out there and feed you to the wolves. Because you know what? You should do it. I should. I think you should so do too. it. I, you should do all, it. It's all great to say it. Like, I'm like, yeah, I know I should. I'm like, yeah, I should. Do no, it. you're going to oh, do yeah, it. I you're going to do it. But you're going like, to oh, do it. I, I, gonna, I go let all me the call time. Shonda. I'm in my seat. Like, oh. I, like, I, I have mad respect for everyone who takes the mic and who does it, and it's something that I really, really wish I could do. I just haven't been able to do it yet. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you. you Thank you, you for that encouragement. It. I appreciate it. it. What's on your bucket list? <laughs> What's on your bucket list? You know, I've always wanted to skydive. Woo! Like, I've always just wanted to jump out of a plane. Do you like just, life? Yeah, I love oh, life. Oh, just make you short. Go ahead. I, just I don't know life. anything other than oh, life. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, about, about that jumping like out <laughs> of a plane. Go ahead. <laughs> like, I, I do want to jump out of a plane and just, you know, just experience that. I don't know why. It's just something it that I would fun. do. Okay, you should do it. But with this damn it. weight on me, I, this shit might not <laughs> work out as the way I need to at least lose a little bit of weight so that I could, I could hover down. I could glide down. <laughs> They're going to be like, not just fall they're going to be like, sorry, your weight is too much. Goodbye. They're going to be like, you <laughs> fell at the fastest rate that we've ever had somebody <laughs> fall there, buddy. <laughs> you didn't why, win. Why do they got to talk like now. that? Why do they have to talk like that? I love that. You just took me to Kentucky real quick and then brought me back up to DMV. Gonna, <laughs> like, what? You just went straight on down. You just came right on down. You took the elevator right on down. So. Listen. There's this video online okay. that went viral. I mean, literally, it's been clicked over like 11,000. Did I see it? Something what is crazy. it about? I don't know, but it's basically a lady. She has on like little, um, little I would say, it's not stockings, but whatever, for the sake of it, just little stocking, little things. 
her feet, it's, it's blood. Her stockings, they're nude stockings and it's covered in blood. And it's because she's been wearing her heels all day. And she posted it on, um, I think she posted it on Instagram or whatever, Facebook or social media. And she was like, to anyone who eats at Joey's restaurant, their policy is that the women, the female staff, they have to wear heels. Mind you, this is a restaurant. Mind you, these ladies are walking back and forth. Mind you, these ladies are on their feet every day for upmost of eight hours or more a day. And they work, you know, it's a restaurant. So it could be open Saturday. It could be open Sunday. They're working every day. But you to have on heels and your feet could be bleeding. And then your supervisor or manager tells you, oh, well, you have to wear the heels tomorrow because it's in the dress code. I think that is so inconsiderate. And I think that is just so horrible. This girl's feet is bleeding. And why are they working at a restaurant wearing heels? That should not be in the dress, po- the dress code. Okay, so this girl, she posted a picture. Of her uh, feet. Of her feet. And they bleeding. were bleeding because in this restaurant, they tell Canada, them as yeah. policy that they have to wear heels. They women ha- have, to, women wear have heels. to wear heels. Okay. I mean, you know, you can't really tell them what their, you know, if that's their dress policy, that's their dress policy. No. But mm-hmm. I, do I think it's right? No. Do I see a point of it? No. Especially when you have someone, when it gets to the point of your feet is bleeding, I think that. She should have really just voiced her concern to, you know, the managers there. And I wouldn't have been wearing no heels. She probably needed to get, you know, something different. You know. She, no, she needs to leave that damn job. And Joey, <laughs> and Joey Restaurant, Listen, she, they need new management, number one. And that is crazy. Also, the female employees have to purchase a $30 black dress. So that I have to pay you for a dress. And then you're going to give me bunions and corns and bleeding feet. But Mo, that's not uncommon. And they have unpaid have training. Pay unpaid. for their uniforms. $30 is a lot. I'm sorry. $30. Where, where you, who paid $30? I mean, 30, certain places do. $30. Yes, $30. <laughs> that's a bit much. No, but seriously, Especially I think that is really crazy. You and to see this lady's bleeding feet. At least give her a day off and I don't know. Does restaurant have like pay big that's no, that's why she need and to work. Her feet are bleeding like that. That is sick leave. Now, how we she know she ain't just trip? No, you can tell. You how we know a bunion ain't burst or something? Down. But anyway, it's also uh, it's brought up a discussion about, you know, the workplace. Because the, the men are not required to wear heels. No, because men don't wear heels. Yeah, but it needs to be equal. It's, it's not equal. equal. I'm pretty sure you they have to wear dress shoes. I'm pretty sure they have to wear dress shoes. If the women have to wear heels, well, I'm pretty sure men. Well, why can't wear uh, flat dress shoes? That's and they probably can. She just no. wanted to wear heels. No, she didn't want to wear heels. <laughs> they have to. I mean, I was just, it just makes me really angry to see her bleeding feet and to see that yeah. that's part of the dress code and that they have to wear that. I see she so should have stopped people. working before they started bleeding. I mean. It, 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 is it they, not kind of taking it to the extreme the just a little the bit? The dress code is the problem. The dress code is the problem. Oh, yeah. Something needs to change. Yeah. Something definitely, definitely needs to change. It definitely needs to change. That's, absolute, that's disgusting. I cannot imagine taking off my shoes and blood. My, my feet are bloody. Because I'm just trying to go to work and earn a living for myself. That is just stupid. They trying to make them be little them. Beyonce's in training. No, all right? No, no, no. Beyonce you doesn't got wear the her heels for eight You got the practice. Beyonce doesn't even wear her heels for eight hours. When Oprah did her TV show, Oprah will have her little flats on. As soon as she's about to walk out to the crowd, she'll put her heels on, and then she'll be sitting down for most of the time anyway, and then she'll walk That's back Oprah. and take them she off. Got a lot of weight but going I'm just on. saying, even Wendy, like, you can't wear those for eight hours a day every single day. That's crazy. Yeah. No. Something needs to change. Yeah. Definitely. Man, oh, there's a petition, and I will be signing it, and I hope you will be signing it, too. They need to change that dress code policy. They don't even part with the heel. I mean, they got to pay $30 a dress, whatever. But they that, that heel policy, that's too much. Too much. Unless they're going to wear it, too. I want the manager and all the men in that establishment to wear heels. To wear heels. Just like the right. women. Yes, oh, and if yeah, your right. feet don't right. hurt, then then, then Not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. Not in that establishment. For her it's feet. not going to happen. I don't know. <laughs> no, that really made me sad. Something needs to change. There, Something though. does. Something That's definitely crazy. Crazy. needs to change. There. I can't believe it. Yeah. Bleeding feet. Oh my gosh. 
I believe that. I believe that. And maybe if the restaurant that we attended, because we went to the poetry night, the po- what was it called? Poetry Slam? Yeah. Yeah, um, Nipsey's, actually, at Nipsey. on Crane Highway. Yeah. It was, them waiters and waitresses wasn't moving. They wasn't moving like they bunions and corns were hurting <laughs> either. Because, <laughs> oh, my gosh. The no, service I mean, was terrible. Yeah, the service was, was absolutely terrible. terrible. So, you know. Um, the drinks were good, but the service was terrible. At yeah. one point, I don't even know if I could even say the drinks were good because the service was so bad. The I ordered was some good. food, and basically, my food took over an hour to come out. And when I asked wow. about my food, he was like, Oh, it's the kitchen. Uh, I blame it on the kitchen. I don't care about the kitchen or you. I just need my food. So at that point, I was just like, You know what? Just give me my bill. I like to pay. Then he proceeds to ask me, Oh, you don't want the, the food anymore? And I looked at him. I said, Nah. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. want it. All I got was chicken tenders and fries, and it takes over an hour. And then you oh, know what wow. also made me upset? I think that I don't know if he's the manager. Let me not speak too soon. However, the table in front of me, you, the lady was talking to the guy, and she was explaining about how why is her food taking so long to come out. Now, customer service is I do apologize. I appreciate your patience. Right. Your food will be out shortly. I mean, it's all, excuses. He just his excuses started pouring out of his <laughs> mouth, and then I was getting so upset. And that was the point when I said, you know what? I don't want the damn food. They can keep it. I'm just gonna pay for my drink. Seriously, Couldn't when you I pay bring you drink. my concern, you don't make excuses. You don't tell me there's a lot of people in here. You don't tell me what do I expect you to do because what I expect you to do is to have my food out on time. That's what I expect you to do. I said, seriously, instead of him to be like, I apologize. Yeah, we, man, uh, over an over hour, after I saw that, he did not <laughs> want to talk with me because it would have been a real problem up in there. So I said, let me pay for my drink. Let me get out of here. And then mistakenly give your card to somebody else, yes. which I told you what was going to happen. Exactly. Oh, my my goodness. So but you know, the I, guy who took my car doesn't even come back with my car. Yeah, and it was somebody else. Jason to me, he, she gives her my card. She's like, "Oh no, that's not my card." I'm like, "That's my card." Seriously, <laughs> seriously, li- literally, yeah. I signed that receipt, called my bank, and cut off my card immediately. I don't know who they got working back there. My card was gone for so long. I mean, they need to step it up. Yeah, Nipsey's they, they uh, on Cray Highway. Like, I really want to support you guys. The drinks was good, but it's not worth the hassle. Don't make excuses. Apologize. Un- be understanding, <laughs> and then let them know to be out shortly. That's all you had to say. You know what I mean? I'm, just, right. I'm not Real? here for bad service I'm because it. I give good service every day, and I expect it in return. I was over it, but the show, right. was <laughs> the show was dope. After the show was dope. After all that. After all that, the dope. show was dope. <laughs> I go back and bring my own food in my purse or something because. <laughs> No, the show was dope. It I was. did order me um, a Long Island, and it didn't come to everybody. You got a blue motorcycle, actually, and it's it didn't thing. come until the end. It's the same thing. And then when he tried to give it to you, he was like, you don't want it? You said, hell no, I don't hell want nah. it. Everybody <laughs> needs it. Why would I want it? It's he just said, right you don't bring it to me when it's convenient yeah. for you. <laughs> At the end. I, I can't. I can't Please. get jiggy with that shit. <laughs> I can't get jiggy with that shit. Please, it's not I'm gonna your happen. service. And, it, and yeah. it's all things. One thing I like about it, it's all things that can be fixed. You yeah. know what I mean? It can be. Yeah. They, they can work yeah. on that. It they can, can be work things on. like you know. I, I'll try to patronize them again. After well, we gonna get you on, on stage. On. We gonna get you well, on that stage. Well, it ain't gonna stage. be at Nipsey. <laughs> yeah, but we gonna, gonna find you another time. stage. My food ain't gonna come out. I, 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 I you could come do out. a spot. You could do a spot here. Why don't you do a spot here? Oh, that, would that would be dope. Be dope. Ah, okay, okay, listen. <laughs> if y'all like that idea, we gonna have oxytocin do a little poetic a justice off, going on. A check off the bucket list. A check off the bucket list. Yeah. And then we gonna we, we gonna start here, and then you you can um. Branch you can out. perform to our listeners, and then you can go and branch out and actually do it in I, person. I'm so so we're going to do it. Exactly. And while we're making dreams come true and scratching off bucket lists, oh, yeah. you can go ahead and stand on the table and then just jump off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like oh, a, so a I can go ahead and, and get my skydiving <laughs> on with no, with no, no parachute? <laughs> oh, Lord. Dive, I, would go, I would really go straight down. <laughs> A table job. Remember planking? I hated like planking. That was seconds. so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Speaking of that, speaking of things that we want to do, because we got our, our weight loss challenge. Yeah. And um, we waiting. 
We wave in. And for those of you that weren't on the Facebook Live, intro picks wave. I'll let you know. <laughs> <Out yourself. now. laughs> Y'all gonna have to check on our Facebook to find okay, out. Okay, okay. okay? So They're gonna have to check on want, our Facebook. All right, so if you wanna know how much we weigh, you can check it out on Facebook, Intro mm-hmm. Picks, yeah. or I also shared it. You can check it out on Oxytocin. Uh, our Facebook pages, friend us if you like. You know, we're friendly. Hey, we love you guys. So oh, yeah. check it out. So we're going we to. That, that was really hard. I know. It, it was. was. It it's was. not easy. And I think the scale ad is, I really, no, I'm not even playing. Like, I really think <laughs> that I know I weigh a, a little bit less than what was. What we'll, we'll put out there, but I you know, know what? You that's, guys, fine. that's fine. I know that's you guys fine. That's 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 f
liquor. He really did. And, and also, if you do want to advertise with us, definitely feel free to reach out to us. You can hit us up on Facebook. You can send me an email at oxytocin at gmail. Oxytocin TV, I'm sorry, at gmail.com. Um, yeah, if you have your own small business, we're definitely looking to partner with you in that way. Yeah, we always got opportunities here. And, um,. We're just trying to make it happen. So let's let's talk. Let's work. We're trying to connect with as many people work, in the work, city. Work, 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 we got our weight loss challenge. We're going to yes. weigh in. Um, we're going to give you our updates about that. We got our next event coming up. We got future um, updates regarding to Drinks and Conversation 4. Woo! Yes, it's going to be awesome. It's going to yes. be definitely live. I can't wait. Popping. You know, I definitely can't wait. It's going to be during the summer, and we're going to get it popping. You know, I'm excited for that. Um, The full video for Drinks and Conversation 3 will be out soon, so just keep watching that. that. Yeah, look for that. And just um, just watch out for us. You know what I'm saying? Just watch out for us. Like, comment, and subscribe (laughs) to our YouTube channel. We very much appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. You can always get new episodes every Tuesday and Friday on YouTube. Yes, Just search indeed. Drinks and Conversation. This is Drinks and Conversation. And we are out, y'all. Bye, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I'm really excited about our weight loss challenge. I know. I'm like ready gotta, to just hit the pavement. We actually really have to do it. Yeah, we got to do know. it. I'm really like, you know, being heart healthy and your wellness is really, really important. And I'm tired <laughs> of breathing heavy when I walk up the steps. Okay. Cool. You know. Take you know, the elevator. Saw, <laughs> take the elevator. No, you got to take the stairs. And I'm, gotta I'm take parking the stairs. at the furthest parking spot. I'm going to make sure that I take the stairs, you know, doing the little extra stuff. No, actually. No, actually. Yeah, a little extra. We'll get that. We'll get that. We'll get that. Yeah. yeah.